Create, conjure, conceive. Create, conjure, conceive. Create, conjure, conceive. There used to be a house here in the 90s and it burned down and it pretty much was in a lot ever since. When we got here in the June of last year, it was six foot high weeds, you know, it was garbage all in, it was nothing being done with it. Now the empty lot on Hanover Street is a garden. The murals were painted by the Sage Coalition, a group of artists dedicated to the beautification of Trenton. On this June day, a play produced by Trenton's Passage Theater Company is taking place in the Gandhi Garden. The garden is blooming in more ways than one. It's beautiful. I just want to keep it, see, keep it going. This is, this is what areas like together. this need. Yeah. Create a city of peace and love. Conjure the energy that created this garden. This garden. Conceive of this happening in every corner of Trenton. Trenton Create, Central High School students conjure, and graduates conceive. wrote the play called Create, This Trenton conjure, Life. Conceive. Last year Create. we did a play about Trenton and I helped write it. We just went to a table, gathered ideas, and then that's how we produced that play. And we produced it at um, Patches Theater. And so this year when I came back for um, summer after my first year of college, David asked if I could be a part of this play too. And I said, yes, of course. David is David Lee White of Passage Theater Company. He's the director and an actor in the play. How big is the pothole? I don't know. It, it, it's a fairly big pothole. I'm going to need you to measure it. Are you kidding? In a hurry. I'm about to leave for vacation. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold, when hold David on. actually gave me, or us, the, the um, topic of, let's talk about Trenton. Let's do a play about the things that go on in Trenton. It was, it kind of was like, a uh, stillness in the room, like, uh, don't really want to talk about Trenton. But then everyone was like, okay, okay, I, I got this about Trenton. We have this and this and this. And that's how we came up with all of the various scenes in the play. And finally, in Act 3, we wonder, if fixing the city takes longer than you planned, do you stick to the guns or do you give up and move on? These teens started working with Passage Theater through Trenton Central High's After School Drama Club. And it's just been wonderful. Sometimes we do David, you know, David writes the work, but what we've moved into the last three or four years is teaching the students how to write or engaging in a writing process with the students. So that's what this performance is about. I don't know. She left this message one time. It wasn't even about me. She was all upset because Jade was going to college and she was all, you're at college, Jade is going to college, and she was crying and stuff. I think that the, the, the general impression of Trenton is that we have these schools that are basically giant concrete buildings where we keep incorrigibles in and do our best to keep them from running around the streets and that really is not the reality. And the fact of the matter is that I have not worked with any kids in Trenton Central High that I have not thought had a lot of potential. I've met with some that had some issues. You know, maybe they have trouble showing up on time. Maybe they have, you know, uh, parents that um, don't come to the performances or don't pick them up or, you know, stuff that, you know, can kind of bring you down. But all of them have challenged themselves in, in some way to do things, you know, that I think are pretty extraordinary. Miss Wyatt's drama club was a big part of Shadir's life in high school. Her teacher became a role model and stepped in when she was needed. During our poetry unit in class, I, I remember her reading a poem um, and talking about how she wanted her mother to be proud of her. And I thought at that moment, knowing that I didn't have children and I wasn't planning to have children, I thought, oh, I would just love to have her as my daughter someday. And uh, when her mother got into legal trouble, Miss Wyatt really stepped in and took in her and her sister and um, became their foster parent, and now Shadira has just finished her first year at Brown. I needed her help at that time, um, just going through personal things, and she was just willing to help me, and that's how I live with her now. <laughs> and she's my mother now, so. Create, conjure, conceive. How do you fix a city? How do you fix a community? How do you fix one single person within a community inside of a city? Tree! Jacinth is another Trenton High School graduate now at Rutgers. She wrote this poem during her freshman year. It's feasible to say that 
the corrections facilities and Planned Parenthood are the streets higher education. See, I left my neighborhood and came back and it looked like a war zone. Our playgrounds lined with bullet rounds and blood scripted signatures. Headstone birthdays younger than me and I'm only 19. It was just a lot going on in Trenton. Like I'm at school and I was just hearing a lot of negativity about Trenton. I was just hearing a lot of deaths and killings and it just was making me feel so like, I don't know, just down. Like, you know, hearing about my city in that way. You say, I'm sorry. That's so sad. Then you move on. But that's not what my city needs. That's not what I need. I was counting all these C's and I got four B's and an A. Yeah, and I was like, what like if I you put my Home for the summer, low? the talk is about grades and how things seem different now. It all came out when writing This Trenton Life. David made a statement about like, no one had a political object objective in the play. So it was kind of like how we felt. So it, some was negative and then some was positive, but it was all like an expression. And I even love how we rep our subhoods because I'm from the north side, where everybody knows that Father Rocco's was a place to dip your feet. And does anyone remember Fine Fair? I love my city. It's full of warm, talented individuals. I have so much hope for Trenton. And they say that love never forgets home. Well, Trenton is where my heart is. I am home. I feel like we, we all want to get out. But we do feel like we owe the city a lot of respect for giving us what it has given us. We'll see you next week on This Trenton Life. We owe the city a lot because it has given us a lot.